go to the first demo of the new UI for fleet maintenance. Okay, so we started the dashboard that helps you identify missing patches as well as configuration drifts. Uh, here you can see there are 26 targets that are missing patches. Let's take a look at how we can patch these targets at scale using the new UI. So you go to the targets menu, you select databases, and once you're on the database page, you go under admin and you pick fleet maintenance. So this is what launches the new UI. So the first step here is I need to select the gold image that I will use to deploy these patches. So I'm going to pick my image. I'll let me pick database 19C. Uh, as the gold image, I will next pick the type of database. Okay, let's say I'm going to only apply to cluster databases. And the third part is operations. We support both updates as well as upgrade operation. For this purpose of the demo, I'll pick up it. Having done that, we can now select which database you want to apply to. So let me just pick a few. I pick HRDB1, Finance DB1, AppDB1, AppDB2. Database is selected. I click Next. And here I will specify my different options. So I'm going to do both things. I will do software deployment part of it as well as update database. So I will provide the destination directory for my Oracle home here. And I will schedule it to run immediately because this is an online operation. When it comes to the update part, since it's offline, I'm going to schedule it for later tonight at 6 p.m. For credentials, I, let me just use preferred credentials to make it easy. And under options, I'm going to pick rolling mode as yes. Because I selected cluster databases on the previous screen, I can actually batch my database one node at a time, which means that the entire batching process is going to be entirely online. We also give you the option to add any custom script, either in the pre or post deploy phase or pre and post update phase. So I can, for example, pick here the post deploy script that will run post deploy, and this is my LDAP configuration script. So let's configure my LDAP for me. So this is a fairly handy uh, thing where I can insert any custom script I want. With this, I click on next, and here's my summary screen. So I will be up batching four databases. One of them has a standby configuration, as you can see. Before I hit submit, I'm going to hit the validate button. And this does the prerequisite checks and validation process to make sure everything is kosher and it will, in fact, things will proceed successfully when the actual patching begins. It's also a good idea to do pre-validation before you hit submit. So things seem to be fine for us. We we'll close it. And then before I submit, there's another handy thing where we let you provide us a prefix name for the job. So easy for you to identify the job in case something goes wrong and you need to do some triaging. So I'll just enter, let's say my patch demo April. So I know when I submitted it and I hit submit and that's it. So it's pretty much as simple as that. This patching process will go on. So next I'm going to show is, you know, if you want to diagnose and triage some issues, I will show you an older run that we have run and see what you, where you would go to diagnose those things if you have any issues with the patching process. So here we have a rich UI where EM can display all the relevant logs on the UI itself. And it also supports actions like, you know, debug, retry, ignore, et cetera, which are very useful when you're triaging issues during patching or upgrade. So this, is the, this concludes the demo for a fleet maintenance UI. And hopefully it's something that you would find very useful in this new release. Mm -hmm.